Hey all, Hiba here and uh, again welcome to the channel on Sea of Conquest and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share so I can do lots of more videos, right? So this video here today is on items and how to upgrade them and also how to use items in sets which is quite important in this game. If you ever played Diablo you know what a set is. It's really just a bunch of items that have something in common. But at first, uh, we gotta earn some items here. So uh, I'm just going to uh, kill a few sea monsters here to grab a few epic and legendary items. And then after that, I'll show you how I actually use these items to make my ship more powerful and how I will then uh, take into account sets and also upgrades and all sorts of stuff you have to think about when you get these items here because it's not as simple as it looks it's actually quite intricate to get the best possible loadout on your ship with the uh, items you have available so uh, obviously there's a lot more to it than this so this is just a basic you know understanding video but it will help you a lot so uh, that's it i killed my five monsters so let's have a look at what i actually got out of that so uh, I'm just going to check my inventory here and uh, see down in the ship part section. So you can see the parts I already have equipped have a little blue number in the top left corner. And uh, one means flagship and uh, two and three are the smaller ships, right? So anything with a new uh, like green letters is what I just picked up fighting off a few uh, you know, sea monsters. So now we have to go through and see if there's something we can use here. So to do that, we're going to uh, leave this section and we're going to go into the ship section. And uh, I always start with the flagship because it's the most important ship. So I always want to make sure that I have my flagship at the highest level possible. So as you can see, I have four, already four legendary uh, items on my flagship, which is pretty good. But you can see some of them are sovereign of the sea. For example, the, the rudder here and the blade of freedom is my gun and sail. And a banquet of the reaper is the front figure whatever it's called so uh, that's the name of the sets so it turns out i have two blade of freedoms already so it would make sense to keep you know you know getting those things because if i get four pieces of that as you can see down here my attack will go up 12 percent so i'm gonna have a look at the what do i actually have uh you know what did i pick up and uh, I'll select the uh, steering wheel, rudder here, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you see, I actually do have a blade of freedom that I just got from killing one of the monsters. So I'm going to say, okay, I already have a level 15, whatever. I don't want that anymore. I want the blade of freedom. So I remove the 15 and put the level one in its place, the blade of freedom. So what I did was I switched the level 15 uh, item for another item that's level one, but it's the item of a set that I want to complete, right? So now I have to enhance this new item here. So uh, the easiest way to do that is simply just to pick up the item I had before, the level 15. So you can see if I click that, I will make the new item go up to level 13. So it means that I will lose two levels uh, simply like by the procedure, which is fair enough. So I'm going to do that. And now my new item went from level zero to level 13. So I just have to upgrade it another two levels to get it back to level 15. Uh, but I will have a, uh, like, oh, not a complete set yet, but I'm a lot closer to it. So uh, to enhance stuff you find, you can use um, the items that you don't want to use. So all these epic and rare items here, I'm not going to use. I only want to enhance legendaries, which is a good, you know, little tip, by the way. So I select all of the ones I don't want and you can see that takes me almost to the end of level 13. And then to get the last, you know, way to level 14, I use these uh, special rocks here. I forget what they're called, but uh, you, you can use them to upgrade your items. So now we made it to level 14 and I still have 267 of these rocks left. So I just keep clicking the button and you can see how the, uh, how the level goes from 14 all the way to 15. And at the moment, 15 is maximum for me. So uh, that's it. And I'll click the enhance button. And my new steering wheel rudder here, whatever it's called, is now uh, level 15, just like the old one, except that I now have three uh, legendary items on my ship that is part of the same set. So all I need now is just the figurehead to be uh, the same set. And uh, I will have a full uh, complement of four 
of the same kind of on my uh, you know flagship and that's what you want to do and of course you want to have legendaries now of course there's more to it than this because uh, you have to think about your heroes as well and also uh, what capabilities they have so uh, if one set of you know legendaries are better combined with your heroes you should go for that one but but there's so many combinations i can't really show that to you here but just keep in mind that uh, it's more complicated than it looks right and also don't forget that you also have to upgrade your smaller ships not just the flagship so you can see here i went on to the next ship i believe it's my uh, yes my rare no my epic ship here and uh, again i have three legendaries on this ship but the figurehead is only rare so of course i would like to find a legendary figurehead somewhere so i can exchange my epic figure get here figurehead here for a legendary figurehead that i can then start to uh, put more resources into upgrading uh, i don't think you should upgrade anything that's not legendary you can but uh, you will lose uh, quite a few levels if you if you you know use that existing upgraded item to upgrade another item that you find uh, with legendaries it's not so bad so um, I didn't really upgrade anything you know epic I've only upgraded legendaries and I've been doing fine so I'm sure you can do the same thing at least for season one okay so I'll just go through the enhancement process with you again because it's a little bit hard to understand I think so uh, here I have my figure head and I've decided okay I'm going to upgrade it anyway I know it's not the same set as the others but I'm going to do it anyway so I select these two legendary cannons here to take me almost to level 12 right so uh, that's it they're gone and their energy so to speak has now been put into this figure head now the remaining uh, levels again I'm going to use these uh, stones here I forget what they're called but that's their purpose and uh, you have to do a lot of clicking so now I go from 12 to 13 and uh, I want to go all the way to 15 I want to have this thing upgraded completely because uh, once I find a, a new figurehead in the set that I want I can use this fully upgraded figurehead to go straight from level 0 to level 13 on the new figurehead without really doing anything so I'm not I'm not really wasting anything here I'm wasting a little bit I'm wasting two levels but in the meantime until I find this new figurehead this will make my ship more powerful you can see every time I fill a level and I click the enhance button uh, it shows just for a brief, mo brief moment here how much extra power I am getting uh, and it's, it's not a lot but uh, it does help for example here I get plus 7700 and something and uh, it it all helps so uh, that's how you upgrade um, your items but of course this will be a lot more complicated as further you go in the game trust me especially when you leave season one but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you out there